Good afternoon, everybody. I, I always forget how big this meeting really is. Um, I guess we're going to outgrow this place before very long, and we're going to have to move to someplace bigger if any of that exists. Uh, my name is Bob Gretchen. I'm the chair-elect of the North Carolina New Schools Project, and I have the unenviable task of, and I, I always struggle with this word, but of replacing, not that anybody can replace Burley Mitchell, uh, our previous chair, and he's not here today, but I just can't say enough good things about Burley and, and what he has done for this organization. Uh, I also want to say that one of the things that that really intrigued me when I got involved in education as sort of my second passion after healthcare um, was the fact that it's so much easier to malign our educational system than it is to really take the time to understand it, which I'm still working on, um, and to understand and to understand, I don't think this thing is on, is it? Okay, it is, okay. And to understand how complicated what you all do every day for our children really is. So I want to congratulate all of you for being a part of the public education system as it works to transform itself again and again to meet the individual needs of every student. This is such an amazing undertaking, if we're really going to accomplish the goal of having every child ready to graduate from high school, ready for the next steps in life, whether that be college, whether that be uh, further technical education or whatever it is, that is a massive, massive undertaking. You all are gathered at this year's Summer Institute, are on a personal journey with all of us. Uh, to really make that happen. And the journey recognizes that success with all students, not just some students, requires sacrifice by adults. It's not just about the educational system, it's also about parental engagement um, with our children's lives. Uh, the story of your school and all the schools that achieve high levels of success with students who may have failed in the past is one of dedication, and extremely hard work. So it's really my pleasure and my honor to just say to you all, thank you for being here today on behalf of the North Carolina New Schools Project. And we really want you to know how important and how respected the work you do really is. Uh, it is so critical to our future. And I will say that one of my great friends, uh, Sin Marshall, uh, who is A, one of the best speakers I've ever heard in my life, and secondly, can turn a phrase better than anybody I know, in a recent conference referred to education in a different context than I had ever heard it referred to before. She referred to education as homeland security. And when you let that sink in for just a second, and you recognize the fact that she's right, that she's right. If, if, if our country is going to remain the great country that it is long into the future, then there, is, there are a few things more important than what all of you are doing out there every single day to make sure that we have people who are prepared for the future, prepared to take on the challenges of the future, and are prepared to continue to keep our country the strongest and best country in the world to live in. So I just want to say thank you to all of you for being here today. And now I have a very great pleasure of introducing our student speaker for today. And I'm actually going to let them do most of their introduction on their own. But I'd like to introduce Isaac McGill, who is a 2012 graduate of Howard Health and Life Science High School in Cumberland County, Isaac. 